So I'm getting ready to try my Alice Roto Baler out today. I've owned this thing for maybe 10 years, 8 years, somewhere in there. When I bought it, it was sitting in a fence row with no trees around and it was sunk to the axle in the dirt. Tires, of course, were junk. But uh, we towed it home. The guy only said I could have it for 35 bucks, so I bought it. Mostly as a novelty. See how it works. I had never had one. When I bought it, it was missing the rattle chain. Luckily, there's a place about 15 miles from me that they sell used equipment and they part out a lot of stuff and they actually had some rotobaler parts there uh, right now they still have two rotobalers for sale um, the belts were bad of course it was probably sitting out for a long time quite a few springs were bad you can see there's a doubled up spring the original is probably the orange one on top that broke there's a new spring back there that I put on for the uh, twine disc. You can see the disc up there. Um, this spring was missing. I put a spring on here. As you can see, the belt ain't too good. But and then uh, I only tried bailing with this once before about eight years ago I put the apron on and put some a few replaced a few belts these bottom ones here I replaced these five and I don't think I replaced any on the top when I at that time um, this here is an original one you can see it's not not long for this world but I got a little bit of hay cut down in double windrowed just to test this out, see if it works. Uh, I'm a little worried about these belts. I think I made them a little too long. You can see there's quite a bit of play in them. Uh, so I remember right the last time I tried it, once the hay gets in there, it you know takes the slack up. But uh, I might have to uh, take these belts off, cut off one end with the uh, wire fasteners, you can see right there, and uh, make the belts a little bit shorter. I don't know, maybe quarter inch, half inch. The top, these two look like they're original. You can see how tight they are. This one I put on yesterday, it's got play in it. I probably should have cut this one a quarter inch shorter, but I figured it was better to cut them a little long than a little short. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, uh, there was a serial number on the back here somewhere. I, I know I had looked it up at one time I can't remember where it is now though, but I thought it was on the frame back here. Yeah. Can't see it right now, but uh, oh, this spring here I gotta put a I gotta put a spring on here to for that. But I've got binder twine in here, not baler twine, but binder twine. Uh, that place where I got the apron, they sell binder twine packages of six rolls. Um, that guy actually, up until this year, I know he had a roto baler that he baled some hay with. But I noticed this year he was using a square baler. So I don't know if he quit using the roto baler finally or what, but... This here is the brake. It applies friction to this 
wheel and you can see that it's uh, got teeth in it moves up this roller is connected to that and as the bale fills up the uh, rollers up here spread out and so that means that this roller has to move up because the, the belts are filling up and it pulls up on that and how much tension you have on here this brakes resists this roller moving up the gears and how much I guess how much tension you have on here determines how tight the bales will be as you can see I gotta put a spring on here yet this one broke I did buy a bunch of new springs from a uh, Alice dealer that's on the alicechalmers.com website in the form. I can't remember if he was from Missouri or where he was, but I called him up and ordered. I told him I wanted all the springs for the machine, so he sent me like almost a dozen springs. I just have to finish putting uh, like those two on. You can see this one here I got to put on. There's just three of them actually holding that one together. But, uh, and then right here there's a hole. Must be for pulling this lever. That's part of the trip mechanism, I think. See, it goes up here. This rod comes down, it pulls up on this. I think that's what. And this is up. I think that's what keeps the apron turning when this dog is in here. But uh, I got the hay raked. It's a little damp right now. I'm going to wait. It's actually a lot of damp. I probably should have waited another hour or two to rake it. But I cut it with a Alice Sycamore. And. Uh, I'm going to be using my D17, 1957. This is the tractor I used in the plowing video, except now I have a wide front end on it. Um, narrow fronts steer easier, you know, easier backing up and all that, but I prefer wide front, especially with a hay bind. But, uh, so... This is just my setup video to uh, show you the baler, and it's not a great baler. I only paid 35 bucks for it, and then I probably have a hundred dollars in all the other stuff I put on it so far, and so that's about 130, 150 dollars, say, with hauling it home. So it's still probably worth that in scrap, maybe. Of course, I don't plan on scrapping it out ever, but uh, <clears throat> I'll uh, take a video when I'm running the baler and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.